Now, I wonder whether you've seen this sort of thing going on recently. This is my face on Donald Trump's body. It was made using deep fakes, an AI algorithm which is capable of taking a face from one video and animating it onto someone else's head in another video. It's fairly easy to get hold of this software, but it does require some technical know-how. But recently, researchers in Israel have published a paper that says face swapping can now be done without all of the complicated training and processing. We train the different components in, in our algorithm on, on a vast number of human faces, such that it, it is not adjusted to a particular person, but actually adjusted to any human face. One of the main uh, dangers of this kind of, uh, of technology is, is that if it progresses much, much more, and it will, and it will be utilized by those who are, who are in the, uh, interested in undermining the public's trust in news, then it will be able to undermine a new domain. As the tech behind faked videos gets more sophisticated, faked speech is also becoming scarily realistic. Mouths can be animated to match words, and the words can be faked too. Now, most of the deepfakes videos do it by either cutting together genuine audio recordings of the subjects or by using an impressionist, as this amazing video illustrates. Dogged by his own echolalia, better to crumble into dust than wind up an impressionist. The definition of cheap thrill, like watching farm equipment rust, is watching an impressionist. But we've also seen software which can listen to your voice, analyse it, and then make you say things you haven't. Even birds aren't safe from this fakery. Well, in one art installation, at least. LJ Rich has been to Somerset House to meet an artist who is deep faking birdsong in a darkened room. So, in this room, we've got real birds in one area and fake birds generated by an AI in this area. That's a fake bird. Listen closely and you can hear several species like great tits, robins and chiff chaffs. Artist Alexandra Daisy Ginsberg trained her AI bird song using a Generative Adversarial Network, or GAN. This system is often used to make new video from existing video footage, commonly called deep fakes. It's not the first time she's used tech to make the impossible exist. At her studio, there's a digitally revived rhino, a computerized Mars landscape, as you do, and even the scent of a long, extinct flower. But creating deepfaked birdsong is a new challenge for the artist, both technically and ethically. So this is what we use to train the dawn chorus bits. Mm -hmm. Deepfakes themselves are worrying in some applications, deeply worrying. So you may have watched the Mark Zuckerberg sort of false testimony videos. All their secrets, their lives. The words look like they're coming from his mouth and they're not words that he said. The system has been trained to mimic him. And the same way in this project, we're using the same technology essentially to mimic natural birds. It's like trying to drop a pencil on its tip and expecting it to stand up on the end of the pencil. And that's how hard it is to train one of these networks. So how do we make a deep fake bird? Start with thousands of real sound recordings, a job in itself. And that's day one. Not, at this point, we're like, that's not going to be a great sound installation. Next, play all these snippets to the GAN program, which then argues with itself about whether something it makes sounds enough like, say, a robin. By day seven, we maybe have something more like this. Add in generous amounts of computing time, and you'll get something that sounds a bit like a bird, eventually. And then by day 10, our chorus is much more sympathetic. 
sort of an ethical issue with this project as well, is that we've advanced the technology of deep fakes by working with them. You end up with something that is very lifelike, but not real, and that's an uncomfortable thing to listen to. Now, reasonably keen ears can spot the real songbirds from the imposters. And although the end result is a technical feat, it also sounds a little strange. And as deep fakes continue to improve, our best defence is to educate ourselves and each other on how to discern what's fake and what's real, whether it's birds or people. <laughs>